hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Kalthar if this is your very first time here and I make crochet tutorials so make sure you subscribe to my channel down below and turn post notifications on so you do not miss any of my videos and in the meanwhile you can also watch my previous videos to learn more about crochet stitches in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to work the double crochet stitch and the double crochet stitch is one of the very basic stitches in crochet it can be used for a variety of projects like blankets tops skirts etc and I'm just going to get started I'm using a six millimeter hook and I'm using this um, cord rope because it's big enough and you can see what I'm doing but of course you can use any size of hook and any size of yarn depending on the projects you want to do and the very first thing I'm going to do of course is to make a chain now to make a chain you first want to do a slip knot and to do the slip knot you hold you take the yarn in your right hand then you wrap it around the index finger of your left hand right and then you pull up this knot and then pull your knot through it like this now once you're done with the slip knot you put your hook in the slip knot and then you start working the chain right once the hook is in you just wrap your yarn around the hook and pull out and pull out that loop wrap your hook around the yarn and pull up a loop wrap your hook around the yarn and pull up a loop wrap your hook around the yarn and pull up a loop wrap your hook around the yarn and pull up a loop this is how to do your chains so for this um for the sake of this um, tutorial i want to do a chain of 10. now that i've done some chains i'm going to show you how to count the chains so if you look at this work here you'd notice this um v's this small v's and this v's each v is one chain so now let's count how many chains we have see we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten there are already ten chains in this work so i am going to start working my double crochet stitch now and i put my hook back into the loop so the very first thing i want to do is turn to the back of my work this is the front of the chain and this is the back of the chain for um knitter for a knitter work it's good if you work your first row in the back of the chain rather than in the front of the chain that's why i'm just turning to the back so you see this small ridges that's where i'm going to be working into you'll find them on the back of your stitch so now that I've, um, I'm done with the chain, I'm just going to wrap the yarn around my hook. And now I have two loops on the hook. Then I'll put the yarn in the third chain from the hook. This is the first chain from the hook. This is the second chain from the hook. And this is the third chain from the hook. So I'm going to be putting my hook in that third chain from the hook. Then I'll wrap the yarn around the hook again and pull up a loop such that I have one, two, three. I now have three loops on my hook. Then I wrap the yarn around and I pull through two loops wrap the yarn around the hook and pull through another two loops don't worry just keep watching you're going to get it and make sure you're practicing so I want to do the next double crochet now in the next stitch so I wrap the yarn around my hook so I have two loops on the hook then I put the yarn in the next stitch and then I wrap it around and pull up another loop so that I have three loops on my hook now and then I wrap the yarn around and pull through two loops wrap the yarn around and pull through another two loops so i'm pulling through two loops two times i'm going to do it again wrap the yarn around the hook first to have two loops on your hook then put the hook into the next stitch wrap the yarn around and pull up another loop so that you have three loops on your hook now then you wrap the yarn around and pull through two pull through another two again wrap the yarn around the hook to have two loops on your hook put your hook in the next stitch <clears throat> then pull up a loop you have three loops now so you pull through two loops you have two loops left pull through those last two loops again wrap the yarn around your hook you have two loops on your hook then put the hook in the next stitch wrap the yarn around and pull up that loop so now you have three loops on your hook wrap the yarn around and pull through two wrap the yarn around and pull through two you do it again until the end of the work so just watch me now finish the last three Thank you. 
Now I've just finished the double crochets up until the end of my work and one thing I want to call your attention to is that if for example you want nine double crochets in your project you're going to do a chain that is one number greater than that so I remember that I did um, 10 chains so if we count the double crochet stitches I have now you can count from either this top of the stitch this is the top of the chain or you count the body sorry this is the top of the double sti double crochets the stitches and this is the body of the stitches so you can either count from the top or count the body so I did 10 chains now let's count how many double crochets I have this is one two three four five six seven eight nine right so if you want 11 double crochets you need to do 12 chains if you come from the top of the work it's going to be the same thing but let's count one two three four five six seven eight nine this is the ninth one so i'm going to do the second row now just so you see the double crochet more to start the second row of double crochets you chain two at the beginning unless your pattern says otherwise chain two and turn the work and this row is going to be really easy the first row is usually the hardest in crochet once you're done with the first row it's really easy from there now i've chained two the double crochet don't forget you first wrap the yarn around your hook so you have two loops on the hook then you put your hook in the next stitch wrap the yarn around and draw up another loop so you have three loops on your hook wrap the yarn around pull through two wrap the yarn around pull through two do it again wrap the yarn around your hook to so have two loops on your hook put the hook in the next stitch Pull up a loop so you have three loops wrap the yarn around pull through two wrap the yarn around pull through two so i'm going to do this till the end feel free to rewind pause rewatch as many times as possible until you get it and do not forget to keep practicing because practice makes perfect so wrap the yarn around the hook to have two loops put it in the next stitch pull it up pull through two pull through two next stitch pull up Pull through two, pull through two, wrap the yarn around, put in the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two, wrap the yarn around, next stitch, pull up, pull through two, pull through two, wrap the yarn around, next stitch, pull up, pull through two, pull through two. So a common mistake that people do when working with double crochet stitches is they forget the last stitch. You can use a stitch marker to mark your last stitch or better still you can just count. Remember we had 9 stitches in the first row. It means that the second row are also supposed to have 9 stitches. So now let's count and see if we have enough. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We have 8. It means that I need to work one last stitch. So I'm just going to do that here. I just had to show you because I know people really miss out on their last stitches if you do not want to miss out on your stitches you either count at the end of each row or you use a stitch marker to mark the stitch so you do not miss out on it so guys i wanted to show you the um icon or symbol for double crochet so that if you're ever working with a crochet diagram and you come across this icon you know what it means so if you see this um long bar with two horizontal lines across it it means you should do a double crochet in that space right you know i'm always explaining crochet diagrams a lot on this channel so you might also come across a crochet diagram you want to work with that's why i thought to tell you so if you see this icon the long bar that looks like the long um, vertical line with two horizontal lines across it it means you do a double crochet it can also just be a long a long um, bar with a horizontal line across it is the same thing you do a double crochet as well it can also be like this it's all the same thing it means you do a double crochet and a double crochet is all i've explained how to do in this tutorial i hope um, you understand everything guys if you have any questions feel free to leave them down in the comment section below check the description box guys for any information you might want to know i usually leave a lot of details down there in the description box and do not forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you do not miss any other videos i hope this tutorial was helpful feel free to leave me comments down below as regards what you'd want to see and don't forget to like the video share it as well to your friends who are interested in crochet thank you